Now, the man accused of killing his neighbors before taking an Alaskan cruise made his first appearance in Montgomery County in a courtroom there today. Richard and Julianne Viardo were stabbed 50 times. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis was inside that courthouse when Scott Tomaszewski appeared. And now Kevin joins us live with what was revealed there in court. Kevin, what did you hear? Hi there, Leon. Tomaszewski addressed the court in a polite and surprisingly somewhat upbeat manner. Prosecutors say the 31-year-old killed his neighbors, the Villardo couple, around 1 a.m. on Mother's Day morning. He then reportedly walked home where he ditched the murder weapon, washed his clothes, and then left for his family's Alaskan cruise only an hour later. I can't answer what his motivations are, only he can. Today, for the very first time, prosecutors revealed Dick Villardo was stabbed 42 times inside his Rockville home. His wife, Judy, suffered eight deep cuts. The couple's accused killer, Scott Tomaszewski, reportedly helped detectives locate the murder weapon, a sharp knife. I just wanted to make sure that uh, the, the court understood the strength of our case and the brutality of the killing. Prosecutors say on the night of the killings, Tomaszewski posted this note to his Facebook page, typing, My deepest sympathies go out to our neighbors who were found deceased today. I pray that their children are somehow able to make it through this horrible tragedy. They were such nice people. I can't imagine who would do this. Scary to hear about this having possibly happened as we were leaving for our trip. I think he's very much in shock. Yesterday, defense attorney John Kudel had his first jailhouse sit-down meeting with Tomaszewski. Today he spoke for the accused killer's parents who both retired from NIH last month. Joe and Jeanette have dedicated themselves to life, the treatment, care and healing of others. The very idea of death in this manner is incomprehensible to them. Well, due to the savage nature of these killings, a judge denied Tomaszewski's bond today in court. Among the list of evidence police have in their case file, a recorded murder confession, bloodstained currency, and the alleged murder weapon. Well, in Rockville, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.